Hey everyone, I'm back with another haul. Um, this is from mm, three different places. Okay, so I guess recently Impression Obsession had a sale. Um, I don't know if it was a flash sale. Oh, it might have been an anniversary sale. I don't know. But they had a certain percentage off of their um, things in their store. So I went ahead and purchased some things that I didn't already have in my stash, I believe. Um... So, lots of these are Anna's dies. How about that? I think all of them are. Okay, they all are. I purchased the um, Primitive Hearts die. And you get four different sizes here. The Jumbo Pink Stitched Sentiment Banners. So these are super big. Um, the Everyday Tags. And there's two sizes in here. Uh, oh, one and two, I guess. This is number two, so it's slightly different at the top and the bottom. And the bread tag. So you get the bread tag and the heart tag there. And then the stitch squares and uh, rounded corner stitch square. So there's three dies in each of these, and you can see them there. So... That's what I got from Impression Obsession. And then I, I purchased some other... Um, these stamps are from eBay. A seller had these for a good price. Um, so I went ahead and picked these up. I don't believe I have any of these in my stash currently. And these are all Tracy Hay um, stamps. Um, but they're produced by Hampton Art here um, in the U.S. Um, so these... Oh, I didn't write the names down. <laughs> and she doesn't have the name of it on the packaging, I don't think. So I'll have to go back and look them up. When you buy them from Tracy Hayes' website, um, Alpaca Pals, they're not in color. They're just going to be black and white. Or I'm sorry, they're just going to be clear with a black um, sheet. So, And I think she has her names on her um, stamp sheets. So I'll just have to go back and write them in. So this is a monkey themed one. This one has a alligator or no crocodile, I'm guessing, and some turtles, cute, cute, and fish. And then we have a deer and a squirrel. I think that's a squirrel or maybe it's a fox. I don't know. And an owl. And then the last one is elephants and a mouse. So those are the four sets that I got from an eBay, eBay seller. And then I purchased some things from the greeteries, the greeteries release. Um, not everything is from this release. Some of them are old items. Um, so I went ahead and purchased the Rustic Star Large. I think this is from a Christmas release or New Year's. So they have two sizes of this um, die. I just purchased the one. And then the Botanicuts Lilacs. This is from this release. You can see the lilacs. So this one is, um, let's see, these are hooked together. So you're basically getting the shape of the lilac. And then these are all individual dies that, that will be cut of the flowers. So you can add them in as details to the base layer. And then I purchased the Inked Well. Now this one goes along with the stamp. Um, so I purchased the stamp and the die. Um, so you can see it has a feather, an inkwell, um, and some fountain pens. Actually, I guess it's two sizes of fountain pens. Yeah. There is a separate um, die for, the, for a larger fountain pen, but that one was out of stock. Um, and again, this is not from this release. Um, it's from a previous release. Um, I purchased this one. This is definitely this release, Seagrass Basket. Um, so this makes, um, a basket, uh, that kind of looks like, I hope you can see that. Um, like a, like a leather basket is, I guess, it w what it would be made out of, um, for holding, you know, vegetables and fruits and stuff. So that'll be fun to play with. And then the last thing I got is a stencil and this is a airmail border. Again, this one I believe came out with the same inked 
Inkwell um, stamp and die with that release. Um, oh, 124. Oh, she puts the date on it. Oh, that's new new with her packaging. I don't think it was on there before. So this is 124 and this is 224. So yeah. Um, so those are the things I got in my um, haul. I will also tack another video to this one um, to show some other things that I purchased. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey everyone, I'm back to share a haul. I think I'll probably link this with another video if I get stuff in sometime soon. Um, but I want to go ahead and film this. I purchased some metal pencil cases from a eBay seller. Um, I was actually looking for another tin like I have here for my watercolors. This is my full tin of... Um, different various watercolors that I have in half pans. Um, any, any time I bought watercolors, um, either the cake kind that come already like this or the ones that are in the tube, I have panned them and put them in here. So <clears throat> if you're wondering what this is, it is, um, a Karen de Ash Pablo, um, pencil, color pencil tin. And you can see the bottom isn't full yet, but I've run out of room on the top layer. Um, so I have some down here um, that I'm starting out. I also have some others. Um, the blacks and the grays are up there too. And some, uh, what do you call them? Glittery ones. Um, so this is the tin that I use. So I was looking for one to, number one, for some pencil cases. But also um, metal because I put... Um, magnets on the bottom so they don't slide around right so um but i wanted ones that were not just a one layer of pencil case so that could fit more and these right here um in one layer um hold 30 30 of these half pans so um let me open this one up for you i am a big fan of sanrio so I had never seen this character before and she's now retired, I believe. Humming Mint is her name. She's a deer, um, but she's super cute. So I bought this one and they're all the same type of tin um, where you have this um, pan that comes out. So you have a layer underneath. You can see that I've got two mechanical pencils in there. They don't fit in the top layer um, because these pencils are too tall. So if you had a skinny one, it would probably fit or a regular pencil. So I can put this in here and it won't slide around, see? So this will fit 30 of these half pans in here with the magnets on the bottom. Um, and there will be extra room. So it, there is like, if I, if I layer three like this, there's gonna be a little extra room at the top and there will also be a little bit on the sides, but you can fit 30 pans in this one layer. So that's plenty for most people. Um, but I wanted the option of using this for that. And the other um, thing is, is that I have two layers of it. So I can put 30 here, 30 here. And then in the bottom layer, there's another bottom layer here. You can put another 30. So right now I have this one for holding some pencils. These are Karen de Ash um, art pencils. They're actually water soluble graphite. So um, if you use these with watercolor, these will kind of um, go, you know, away. The lines will go away once you once it, the water hits it. So um, I have this tin. This is um, not a San Sanrio character set. This is Sumiko Garashi. Um, so this, I think this is a San X, if you guys are familiar with that brand. So from 2022. So I have that one. Of course, I have the Humming Mint. Um, this one holds... Um, Pencils also, and um, my stash of <laughs> refill lead and erasers. And the top tray is empty, which I could put stuff in. And then the bottom um, has more of my pencils. And again, the bottom one is taller, so it can hold these um, fat um, pencils with the uh, rubber, uh, what do you call this, grip. So that's why I put them down there. Um, I think it's just so, you know, it's cute. And this one is empty. Um, this one is a cinema roll. And the seller had lots of different characters um, from Sanrio. I just chose the ones I chose um, based on my liking. And 
She also sent me a free um, Hello Kitty 2024 um, schedule book. I don't really need this, but it is cute because all the pages are Hello Kitty themed. I do like Hello Kitty. Not as much as some characters, but um, it's cute. I already have a date book that I'm using for this year, so I'm not worried about that. But I just wanted to show you that haul um, in case you're uh, looking for something that can hold watercolors like I pan mine. Um, as you can see, my, um, I don't even know how many are in here, but um, my pan is really full at this point. And because some of the half pans are different sizes, like I can't fit another one in here right now. Um, and there's one here where there's a gap. I melted one of mine because I was trying to dry it out, but that doesn't work. So I have one, two extra spots for some watercolors, and then I have to go down to the next um, layer. So anyway, that is all for now, and thanks for watching. Bye!